Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to create a furniture schedule in Revit with images. So for this, I have selected one residence plan here and I have some interior furnitures like dining table, sofas, wardrobes, beds and TV units. So we will create a furniture schedule. So first we you, we you need to understand what is difference between system families and loadable families. So system families are the families like this wall. So if you want to create a schedule for your wall roof with some reference images, you can do it uh, after selecting your wall or roof and you can go to edit the properties and you can go down here and can select this identity data and you can select these images and you can click this three dot and you can add some reference images of your wall if you have any wall images you can uh, insert that by going to properties so and uh, the loadable families are the families like rfa file which we have downloaded from external sources like Revit city and we are using a now project so for this you are required to edit its family so we will keep quickly see the difference between system families and loadable families so system families create basic elements that you would assemble on a construction site example can be wall roof floors duct pipes loadable families are the families that you most commonly create and modify in Revit. unlike system families Loadable families are created in external RFA files and imported or loaded in your project. So I have created one tutorial about families in my previous tutorials. You can refer that and you can watch it in from my playlist. So now I am going to my loadable families here and now I will show you how to create a furniture schedule. So I am going to select this dining table here and I will go to edit family. And after this, I will select this family types here. And I will go to identity data and I'm going to type images. And I will click this and I have inserted some images from my uh, external sources. So you can download and you can insert that images. And if you want to insert, you can insert from your new folder. So I have inserted. So I'm going to select this here and I'm going to click okay and now i'm going to apply and okay after this you can select this one load into project and you can select this override the existing version and its parameter values so i'm going to select this now i'm going to select this so far you are required to repeat for each furniture so i'm going to edit family And now I will select this one again family types and you can go to type images and you can add any reference sofa images so I am going to select this one I will click open ok apply ok and then I will load into project and I will override the existing parameters and its values so likewise i will go for this tv unit also and i will go to edit family and i will go to this family types and we'll go to identity data and i will select type image so this three dot then we'll add any reference images so tv unit and one tv unit reference image so i'm going to click ok apply ok and now i will load into project over at the existing version and parameters values and you can do this for this way also i am going to edit family and i will go to family types type image in identity data and we will add one reference image of bed here open okay fly okay now i will load into project and click okay all right the existing version and parameters values so likewise you can do it for remaining furnitures or whatever furnitures you are having in, in your project so now we are ready to create our schedule and quantities so i am going to 
right clicking on my schedule and quantities and i will create a new schedule or quantities then i will go to furniture here and i will select furniture schedule then i am going to insert family then family and types then i will go and select mark here and you can also insert cost if you want and i will select this type here then type image and i will click ok so you can see uh, this is our furniture schedule and if you want to view images you are required to create a sheet format for this so i am going to create a sheet format so i am going to sheet format and i will right click and i will create a new sheet here so if your sheet format is ready you can insert this schedule and quantities and i can go to your furniture schedule and directly drag and drop and you can insert anywhere and you can see we are ready with our furniture schedule like this so this is our chair which we have inserted this is the tv unit type images and you can do it for everything so you can do it for remaining like uh, for tens also and i am going to select this and you can resize this if you want to increase this you can do it from here this is uh, three dots you can do it can if you want to increase this row you can directly use these arrows here and you can go diagonally to increase this size here so likewise you can create this furniture schedule so this was the tutorial for the tutorial session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in revit bye bye